Hello everyone and welcome by the Arcade Saga. Welcome by this blooming update for the month of May. And May is already uh, almost, almost over again. Can you believe it? Time is flying these days. Uh, anyhow, uh, like I said, welcome by this blooming update. And I'm already uh, starting with uh, the Miltoniopsis. And I'm just going to give a sort of overview like this because there are so many and these videos uh, will otherwise get so long. They're so, so beautiful. I hope you're all doing well. We are doing fine, but it's very busy. But um, so therefore, yeah, I think time is, uh, it feels like time is flying uh, very uh, over very quickly. But um, yeah, a blooming update is one of the uh, nicest videos to make, I think. It's just so beautiful to have a look at them. And yeah, this one is really at its best now, I think. Two spikes uh, on, so therefore I did a bit of close up on this one. But yeah, we have, uh, this is my uh, Miltoniopsis um, corner, maybe. <laughs> but um, as you see, we have quite some in bloom and this one is still, uh, it's, it's about to uh, open up its bloom. So that will, uh, will be in the next uh, video. And we just did enter uh, this video uh, through the door. So there is where I uh, come inside the orchid uh, room and that's obviously the uh, door to my greenhouse which we will uh, use in a minute but first we're going to look at, uh, at the orchids uh, here in this orchid room at the blooms and this one is so beautiful and it's so sad I do have not an idea for this one but it's such a beautiful one two very very big spikes it's the best blooming so far and I think I have this one now for its third year in my care and it's just getting better and better it's so beautiful fairly large blooms I hope you can see it like this yeah it's it's beautiful and you can see they are bending but yeah don't stake them so I was a little bit nervous because this one it was the first one to open it's very very heavy as you can see but yeah, she should be able to uh, support the spikes on her own. And so far she's doing very well. And I think the last one is just about to open up here. So uh, yeah, I think she's holding on to the blooms. Very beautiful. And uh, yeah, two very uh, large spikes on that one. And this one, uh, yeah, the one, no, it's not going over. It's uh, still has some fresh blooms here. This one has uh, three spikes. It's the Colmenara Alkmaar. And a very beautiful one and it's just starting to opening up on these spikes as well. I'm sorry because the backlight is very bright. But you can see, whoops, my mic was uh, tangled up in the blooms, <laughs> the wire. Let's get this one in focus again because then you can better see the colors, I believe. Beautiful red and beautiful purple in the lip here. A bit of yellow. And this one is always blooming at least it feels like it but uh, yeah it's 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 a very easy to grow and easy to bloom so if you like that commonara alkmaar and then we have this beauty this one is so beautiful as well i, I really really love the pattern on this one on the blooms it's such a beauty and i will grab the tag quickly so we can have a look Whoops, I got mine from the uh, Inca orchids. So if you have those in your neighborhood or probably you can order from them online, depending on where you uh, live, uh, of course. But uh, yeah, I think they still sell this one. Um, then up here, I don't have an idea for this one, but it's still blooming. And this one is from my last uh, visit to the Landsbergen the open house but it's still blooming and I did already do a, a repot on it as you can see but the bulb is uh, doing fine it's a little bit shriveled but not too much and this growth is nicely growing and it's putting out new roots so therefore I thought well I'm going to keep the spike and we will see but uh, so far it's doing uh, pretty well I, uh, I believe and then over here we have this one from the same uh, open house same nursery Landsbergen the Pinocchio Alba and I believe this bloom was already there and this one just opened 
Oh, uh, this is the new one. I'm not sure, actually. I can... I'm not sure. Um, yeah, this is the new one, of course. This has the the new buds already. So this is the oldest one. And it just recently it opened this one. Beautiful. I really, really love the colors on this one. Absolutely beautiful. There's another variety. The not Alba version, but I, I must admit I, I do uh, like this better. Because of the, the white and the yellow I personally really love on blooms. Uh, let me see, what do we have more here? We have this one. It's almost done blooming. Let's turn it around so we can have a better look at it. I did get this one also from the Incas. Uh, Michael McCarthy helped me on the right ID for this one. And it is the Ancostellopsis Sunkissed Buttercup. <laughs> But yeah, if you are interested, that's the name. You should, you can look it up, and you probably will find it by the, uh, like I said, by the Incas. Let's try to put that tag back. But it's beautiful orange, yellow bloom. I think it shows up a little bit more yellow on camera than it really is. It's, it's more towards the orange. But as I can see on the screen, it looks a little bit more yellow. Then we have this one. It's no ID. No, it's not a no ID. I'm, I apologize. I have an idea. <laughs> also an Inca or uh, Arcid uh, purchase. This is the name, Bellara Renances. Renances. Let's put a tag back. This one blooms very easily as well. Easily uh, to care for. That's a little bit sad story. I have a few blooms left on my Navium. Navium. But it had spider mites. It had such a beautiful spike. And you can see these spikes, the blooms started to dry up. I, I didn't notice it. So therefore it's very shiny on the leaves because I just sprayed it. But it does make another spike on that new growth that had already a very large spike on it. So sad because it, it, otherwise it would be the best blooming so far on this one for me. But yeah. Pests, what can we do? Well, uh, treat the orchids, but you need to catch them in time, of course. So let's go uh, into the greenhouse now. And I will turn off the vents because it's fairly warm today. So we have not that much uh, background noise. My uh, Psychopsis Alba, such a beautiful one. I would really love to repot this one because it's not doing incredibly well. This is for uh, over a year now. It's really drying up. But I have three green bulbs and I'm waiting for a new growth. Because then I can uh, clean everything up. But so far, this one is not in bloom. We have the Stellamnia. The Tequila. <laughs> I think we, uh, we managed to find a name for this one. Particular sun, sun, sun shot, something like that. I, I didn't uh, change the tag uh, yet, but I will do that. And I still have one over here on my Epidendrum Rene Marquez, a bloom, and this one is a little bit younger. It's also fading uh, already, but it has a little bit more color on it than the previous one. So that's still in bloom. Then, you guys, we have a Vanda. Look at that. Two beautiful spikes. Finally. And it's still opening up on the blooms on the second spike. And over time, previously, it did turn completely yellow. But this time, it keeps on that rusty colored edge longer. And I think... That's because it's it's uh, enjoying uh, it, it, its life uh, more, I think, but I'm not sure. It's maybe stronger, healthier, but we will see. But yeah, it's it's such a beauty. Look at that. So yeah, it's doing way better. Now I have it back in those glass faces again. And it's watering day, so therefore it's water in there. Next to it, this fan is all basically always blooming. It's the uh, white angel. Still working on a beautiful spike here, as you can see. 
quite some blooms on there, so we are, we are, we have fanas back in bloom. That makes me happy. <laughs> the epidendra, epidendrums, still uh, blooming. And I have also a pink one that I almost lost, but it's uh, blooming again. A beautiful bright color. And we have the red one. This is the red dragon. And then we have still some blooms on this white pink one. That I did came also from my open house visit at Landsberg last time. So uh, that's doing well. Then we have a first bloomer for me. And it is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yellow and white, What's the, what can we wish uh, more? Well, at least for my uh, taste, then. I, I love the yellow and white combination. Which you probably know by now. Let me grab the tag for you who want to know. It's actually a temp, temp, Tempsis var, Variety Alba. But yeah, it has five spikes. We have one here as well. Hope you can see it. And four that are, are now blooming. And somehow some buds did dry up. Not sure what happened there. I have no idea, but still we have quite some blooms. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Then in the back also yellow and white. <laughs> and this should be a Cattleya crush. I, uh, I'm told, a Cattleya hybrid. And not an Encyclia. I would have first thought that maybe it's a sort of type of Encyclia, but it isn't. At least uh, one grower did say that to me, so I have no idea, but it's probably right. Um, then we have these beauties. Also, first time bloomer for me. Absolutely stunning. And it does remind me a little bit of the Francis Fox, because of the, that lip and the colors on that lip. But it isn't, obviously. You can see Francis Fox is something completely different. In the sense that it's, I cannot compare anything to it because it's so beautiful, if you ask me. But uh, this is uh, somehow, like I said, does remind me a little bit of, the, of that one. But this is the Sickly uh, Vola Jarek Canary Orange. And like I said, first time bloomer. And we have one bud to open. So, and I think they will turn a little bit more orange over time, I think. Not sure, like I said, it's first time bloomer, so... I'm not sure that yet. And we still have some fowls in bloom. Look at this. This is the biggest one I ever had. <laughs> Such big blooms. And they decided to make a secondary spike. The first one. And it has this cascading spike over here. And like I said, we have still some in bloom. And I can't see that. Uh, well, even though this is a uh, this is one is about to uh, start into bloom. But I have a little less blooms than uh, a few months back and that's i think because it's just uh, getting warmer and even though they, they like the light but i think it's more uh, they're really starting to get in their growing season which obviously is, uh, is is necessary and i'm really looking forward to let them then grow more so therefore i have a little less spikes a little less blooms and some older leaves this one is not doing it particularly well but it's still uh, there this is a fairly common one, I think. Well, at least I see it. And this one is making a, a second spike already. But this is the Valleopsis um, Karen Alba. And then we have these beauties over here. This color is also very beautiful, I think. That very dark red. And then this beauty. And more of that. Right one, it has even more blooms over here. <laughs> so it basically has three clusters uh, blooms going on. And Leodoro. That's a quick uh, look at the fells. Let's go over uh, to this side. We have some still here. And let me first turn off this ventilator as well. And a look at this beauty. Oh, what a spikes. Best blooming so far for me on this um, 
I always know the name and not now, of course. <laughs> but I have a tag you probably recognized already. It's a fairly common one. It's the uh, Brushia Shellop Tolkien. Shellop Tolkien. And I have three spikes. This one has three buds, but still it's a, it's a fairly young plant and beautiful, beautiful cascading spikes. And let's do it like that. <laughs> And then way up here, I hope I can get it nicely. The frame we have uh, the Bartley Schwartz White still blooming. Two spikes that the one on the left is just opening. The other one was uh, here for a few weeks already, I believe. And then here I put them next to one another. We have my two uh, sunsets. So, and this one is the spotted one I always refer to. You can see this one ha keeps having those spots which shouldn't be there because it should look like this. But I like both of them. And I think it's kind of funny to have them <laughs> next to one another. You can now clearly see the difference in the colors and in the blooms. Well, not necessarily the colors. The colors are very similar, of course, but the spotting is different and we have still some blooms left on this one here in the back. This is the brush here and this leaf is very ugly, I apologize. <laughs> orange uh, delight, brush here orange delight. This is an old leaf so it will come off quickly but the rest of the blooms are already uh, over. And then here it did surprise me with a second spike, the mystic maze with a very long name. It's just just starting to opening up. It's such a beauty. We have some buds to come, so it's very beautiful. Then over here, let me see. My prima donna has a very nice place of extra blooms. These are uh, fairly new ones. They decide to give me some more buds. I really, really love this one. This is my most beautiful. Nobly, I think that yellow is so beautiful. I'm really happy to find that one. And also this one in the back, this purple one, Comet King, I believe, is decided to put out uh, a few more blooms. And we don't mind. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. And then we have two spikes, as you can see on this beautiful dendrobium. Let's grab the tag first. Oh, it's uh, stuck. Let me zoom in. Dendrobium Puff 58 Yellow Fragrance. I do not, it, it has a little bit of a fragrance. It's not much. So I don't know why it's needed to be in a name, but <laughs> nothing to write home about. But uh, the blooms really do make up for it. Absolutely beautiful. And this is the largest spike so far. It has quite some, uh, quite some blooms and we have even some buds to open. But yeah, beautiful. And we have another spike there in the back. A smaller cane and the spike is a bit smaller as well, but still a beautiful display of blooms. And then here we have a beautiful red variety of the uh, Sherry Baby, Red Ruby. No, Ruby Doll. I always mess the name up. I'm sorry. Sherry Baby Ruby Doll. That's the correct name. And then I have the Snow Jade also blooming. Let me turn it around a little bit. It's just starting to open up with blooms. It's a dendron. Oops, I cannot turn it. Ooh, don't break the spike. Stupid me. <laughs> I'm sorry. But it has a very large spike this, this time. Let me uh, try to zoom in on that beautiful bloom. So yeah, Dendrobium Veniliopsis Snow Jade. It's a commercial name, I believe, but uh, nonetheless, very, very beautiful. And it's doing very well because it's also having this beautiful new growth here, growing. So uh, yeah, I think it's, uh, it's happy. <laughs> and we do get some more spikes, but those will be for a next blooming update. 
Can you believe it? Havianen. This spike and this spike. It never had so many spikes and blooms on it. Um, so I think we did cover all of them. I keep forgetting always a few of them, but so far I think we are doing fine. <laughs> yeah. So this is uh, this is the update for uh, May on the blooms. I hope you uh, enjoyed it. And yeah, we do not show this one very often. It's a very beautiful one as well. I don't have an idea on this one, but a nice uh, fail as well. So uh, thank you for watching. And as usual, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't already, you may consider subscribing to my channel. For now, uh, I really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye-bye.